Hello everyone, it is Overwars and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. This video is going to be very special. As you guys can see at the left side, we got all of the attacks that we recently did. And as you can see, we've been taking an Operation Dead End on a very consistent basis. Even to the point that uh, a couple of days ago, we took it down in only 20 attacks. I want to show you guys the key attacks that we did in order to get this takedown done. As you guys can see, I've been online way too much today. Uh, I actually have quite a bit of victory points. Uh, 875, climbing my way up to 900. Um, if you guys, by the way, are interested in joining in our task course, here's all the information. Come join Conquering Dead End, Deep Cut, and Massive Attack with us. It's insane. Anyway, today's video is going to be all about Operation Dead End. So let's just jump straight in. Um, first attack by Yeah. Let's see what happens over here. So he has an alt account of, of Garafro, um, one of the co-leadership in our task force. Starting up the attack by cleaning up all of these mines. Look at all of these mines, it's pretty crazy when you think about it. Going with Alzuka attack, what you're going to be seeing in the higher level task force operation attacks is always going to be mainly all Zukas or all warriors or some specific combo. A little bit of fortune there with the, uh, with the mines taking care of the Zukas and then of course a barrage on the rest of the mines over there. Next up quick charge was a little while after we got Plum over here with uh, 104 Zukas. Let's see what he did. Getting rid of some of these mines over here. Uh... Dropping artillery onto the final mine. Then getting these Zookas in here. Let's see where he's going to be going. I think he's going to be going for the rocket launcher, but I'm not sure. Yes, he actually is. Look at that smoking. So cool to see if they're lined up together nicely like this. Alright, so I think something goes wrong here in this particular setup that I actually wanted to showcase to you guys. So uh, I'm going two times the speed here. Alright, take notice of this. Everything is shocked. The uh, laser beam is shocked. The uh, machine guns are shocked. The rocket launchers are shocked, but the uh, mortar is not shocked. And then the critter comes in. I'm not sure if he dropped them either late or if he didn't have enough gunboat energy for it. If he had enough gunboat energy, I think he would have been capable of taking out those machine guns as well. In overall, very nice attack. The objective was to take on the rocket launchers, and he actually did more than that. Binks, what did you do, buddy? Binks, what did you do? Really curious about this. I think you can just go for the takedown. All he needs to do is get rid of the mortars and uh, get rid of the laser beam. And the machine guns, of course. That should be relatively easy. Oh, no, this is actually quite tricky because you got to reflare to the mortars every single time again. Because the Zookas get distracted every single time. Makes his way to the back there. Getting uh, some power cells. No! What are you doing? There's. You should have just gone for the machine gun, honestly, there. I feel that was the better way and then drop a shock bomb in between getting the both of them and then make room for someone else to take it down or something like this. This honestly was not really necessary and overall kind of a fortunate of an attack there but in this particular scenario you should have honestly just really from this point gone to the machine guns and then gone for the takedown. So uh, attack after that oh yeah it's actually from Trophius over here and he actually managed to take it down. Let's see if what I said was actually true. About taking it down that way. So as you can see. Throwing a barrage over here. Actually not getting that boom mine. Which is really strange to me. Because he actually, it's really surprising how the, the barrage is always going. It's always so confusing. There's no straight pattern for barrage. One way you take down what you're aiming for. The other time you don't. Ever. Like You can take down a rocket launcher with a single barrage. But then there may be moments where you're not ever going to be able to do it. So as you can see. Basically confirmed, going for the machine gun, going for the uh, laser beam. And he could just snipe the headquarters just like that, going in for the takedown. Very nice job by Trophius. Gonna actually see how everything is gonna be blowing up there. I really like the look of that. Uh, only 50 seconds to go. Having some critters over at the right side. Always nice to distract everything. So here we go. Oh, wanted to go for the final boom. So boom, there we go. And everything is exploding. Trophius going in for the kill. Well done. I like that attack a lot. It's actually um, 18 attacks at that point. So he kind of wanted to keep it with the 20 mark. Alright. That pirate on Dioxin. Now I hate Dioxin as a base. Because look at all of those mines there. So two times the speed here. Actually um, he's going to be taking care of all of these mines. Is he going to be... Oh over here at the, at the rocket launcher. And then he throws an artillery. Quick pass here. The reason why he does this 
is that if he deploys his Zuka in the center over here, what is damaged? Uh, like, okay, let me just put it into perspective over here. If you got a tower here and a tower here, and you're in the middle, in the exact middle with your troops, then the units are going to be focusing onto the building that is already damaged. So in this particular case, they would, if the Azukas were here, parked in... I'm just gonna let it play by itself. So that way you guys can see for yourself what I'm talking about here. Because I could just talk about it. But it's more practical if I actually show you guys what I'm talking about here. Because I'm fairly certain that that pirate is exactly going to be doing just that. She, she's going to be parking the Zookas here. And as you can see, going for the shock launcher over there. That shock launcher in the back is damaged. So it's going to be going for that first. Why do you do that? Because then the Zookas don't die out and you can actually save yourself a shock. Very nice attack, taking care of every single rocket launcher and shock launcher and we learned something. So that's pretty cool. It's something that I learned very recently, I honestly didn't know about that until the longest time. Someone had to tell me, well, just throw an artillery there. I was like, why are you throwing artillery there? I honestly have no idea why you would even throw an artillery there. And they were like, well, if you throw an artillery there, they're gonna be targeting on that. And then like 10 people confirmed it, I was like, derp. I had no idea about that, but uh, you know, you live and learn every single day, you know, learning something about the game. Uh, in this particular setup, he deployed the Zookas over here. Look at this walking path, very well done. Lost a couple of Zookas in the way here, but that's alright. Making his way out there to the cannons, machine gun, flamethrower, taking it all out. And I think this is going to be a snipe at this point. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a snipe, but the... Uh, Flamethrower took uh, quite a bit of Zookas, but the Zookas are basically unharmed. And I think there's one more attack after that. Uh, I'm not sure where it's from. It's Dioxin. Uh, Garafro's other, his third account, actually took it out with all Zookas. Not losing a single one. So that was very nice. Well done on that one. And you know what? I'm just gonna take a look at how this one went. Because I think this one was crazy. You may want to take a look at this. So... What is he doing? He's deploying all Zookas at the same time. He didn't lose a single Zooka here, right? See this crazy walking path that he's taking. Just dropping the flare immediately. Look at this. This is skill. Knowing exactly where the Zookas are going to be walking. That's just pure class. I just wanted to demonstrate that. That's really, really cool. I love that. So yeah. Anyway. Let's move on to Axiom. Not is attacking with all warriors. Um, pretty straightforward base takedown here. Going all the way to the back, so as you can see, you also need to know the walking path of the warriors, and he knows it very well. Then throws a flare on the power cell behind the rocket launcher, so that way, you know, this is the effect. Very nice job there by not. If I'm skipping through a little bit early before the end, it's because there's nothing happening after that. And then after that, Handsome, or that's his Tyranny's name, this, this this is his first account or second account, this is his second account or first account. Uh, this is Handsome in Tyranny, so his name, we always call him not Handsome. <laughs> this is so funny, alright. Let's see what he did there. So the Rock Lodge is right now gone, that means that these Zookas are, can snipe here. Now this guy is really nice with his Zookas, he, got, he knows how to walk with his Zookas, and it proves it. By dropping the flare all the way into the back and the Zookas just look at this smoking. That was just smoking. Smokingly awesome. Look at this. Going in for that takedown. Well, I gotta give you props, dude. Like, this is uh, some skill here. Skill and display. I really like what I'm seeing here. And of course, going in for the takedown. Wait for it. There it is. Everything exploding like crazy. Man, I'm so stoked about the fact that we took it down in 20 attacks. Granted the fact that... Some of these bases were not hard at all. Like, for instance, this base, you know, with two attacks, two efficient attacks, can take it down. If you aren't or coordinated or if you are unskilled, you probably take, like, six or seven attacks. Or you attack in places where you shouldn't attack. But, yeah, it was really nice to see. Armadillo by Nels. 208% gunboat energy. So, this one, uh, I felt this one was the unfortunate one. I think this week, we could have taken this one down with, with more, less attacks than we actually did. So, that's how I feel. First attack right now. Um, over here. Take a look at this. Take it out laser beam. Go into the rocket launcher. Now, Nels got a little bit unfortunate with this shock over here. Did not get the other rocket launchers. Uh, but still managed to take out this rocket launcher over there. So, objective is completed. Took care of the laser beam and the rocket launcher. Next armadillo was Jorben. With the hookah attack strategy. 
So he's gonna be attacking straight ahead. Gonna be getting rid of most of the mortars, machine guns, basically until the shock launcher. So let's see how this goes. There we go. I'm honestly not sure if this attack was necessary. I, I really got no idea. But we're gonna find out very soon. So this was Armadillo. Then we got Alp. With all Zuka. So let's see what Alp did here. So he's going in there for the shock launcher. Making his way up there. Let's see what he does. He goes to the left side. He's going for the mortars. Can you not just attack the back side there instead though? Oh, he, he redirects himself and then attacks head on. Oh, right. So they're planning on attacking head on. I think it would be easier to deploy Azukas in the back there. And I take it out that way, but I might just be wrong about that. Anyway, you know, to each their own. Let's see what Pinhai is, go Pin is going to be doing here. I think he's ju just going to be attacking straight on ahead, ahead here. Going in for the takedown. I guess this makes sense because you can just shock the rocket launchers and then uh, snipe the core. But yeah, it's still five attacks. And this was kind of a wasted attack, so that was really unfortunate. But the flamethrowers are gone and then his main account goes in for the takedown, of course. Uh, straight ahead attack, nothing really too much different from what we've already seen. Dropping in the flare over here, gotta be a little bit careful. I don't think these smokes were necessary to be honest, but you could have even deployed critters if you wanted to for more fun. But yeah, as you guys can see, taking it out, pin eye, taking it out just like that, pinny. Uh, pin, I'm not sure how to, Dan, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, that was Armadillo. That was kind of cool. Next up, we got Tech Crunch. Let's let's move on. Garafro. Let's see how you do this, man. Because this was actually quite a few mines here. Getting onto those shock mines over there. I know for a fact that they deployed a lot of gunboat energy onto mines. To take those out. Critters over there. Um, is there more income? Yeah, Barrage. Getting rid of those two shock mines over there. I think an artillery down there. Maybe? Yeah, there it is. There it is. I think I've seen this attack too many times by now. Alright, let's see how, this, how he does this. So, gets hit by the laser beam. A little bit, but that's alright. Doesn't care for the boom mines. Just doesn't care at all. That parks his Zookas up there. Getting rid of the... Flaring the machine gun first. Because the machine gun, you know, taking it out. Actually, advantageous. And then going in for the boom cannon, I guess. Cannons, boom cannons, taking care of that. Taking it out. Because there's a lot of shield on this one. And you can actually tell because the next attack, which was from Slogoman, was not a bad attack. But he just ran out of time. Because there's just too much shield on this thing over here. Actually took care of the shock mine over there. You don't see it anymore. This is because he threw an artillery on that. Alright, Slogoman. Going in for the flares. Let's see how he did with these Azuka attacks. So he makes his way up here. Getting into the center. Of course, getting rid of all of these cannons. And then you can just basically go here. So as you can see, he's going in for the snipe. And uh, he doesn't take it down. He actually takes it down... I don't know how far. Let's watch my attack. Because my attack was after that. And I took it down after. Uh, right now the shield, you see this? He had like those three minutes and he took it down this way. This is a, a really tough one. I needed more than three minutes in order to do this. So I'm dropping in my Zookas. I think I did well. Decided to smoke there. I was a little bit afraid of the laser beam, which is justified. Making my way up there. Getting in my smokes. I got hit a little bit here. I think I lost like 30 Zookas there. Uh, by that laser beam alone. So that kind of explains the situation here. But you guys know the drill. This is basically going to be a takedown. But man, this shield is so strong. I don't know for sure, but I think it was like 10 million. Don't quote me on it, but it was a couple of million. For sure. Then the final attack is going to be... Starting from not welcomed on high five. Alright, let's do this. So, this is actually pretty impressive. This, I think this was pretty, I think this was pretty impressive. This, this takedown on this base. I think it was kind of nice to see. Uh, especially the second attack. The second attack is a must watch here, okay? So, let's see what happens here. Warrior attack over here. Taking care of the shock launcher. Boom, shock launcher. Making his way up there, getting hit by the mines. Going to the rocket launcher, smack, smack, bada boom. Big bada boom, taking it out just like that. So that was the attack, of course, getting rid of some of these mines over here. Very nice attack, but not welcomed. The next attack on was by Johan. 
the Intel Contest winner. He wasn't boosted up. He was not boosted up. He still managed to do quite a bit here though. I just, I, I just thought it was cool to see honestly. Like, there wasn't anything spectacular going on because she can avoid most of the things here. But I just, I just really like the way this one went down. Uh, getting some, accumulating some gunboat energy of course. You don't need to boost up if you can accumulate it this way. But look at this. Going in for it. Shocking everything. I just love the way this looks. Taking care of everything. Taking down everything really slowly. Uh, and just flaring at the right side. Shocking at the right side. Not ne needing to worry too much about anything. But once again the same thing. Same story. Shield. You couldn't take it down. Because there's too much shield on this. And he was running out of time. So that's how we took it down. Of course the final attack was from Mr. Uniquerer. Kind of a lower level in our task force, but you know, that's okay. But yeah, that's that's how we took down Operation Dead End. I'm really proud of my task force that we managed to achieve this. If you want to be joining in my task force, all the information will be in the link in the video description. I'm not There will be just information in the video description down below so that way you guys can check it out. 20 attacks. That is our record. Uh, I don't know if we're going to ever beat that, but I'm honestly really proud. You know, our task force, you know, unique or cool attack. Let's actually go so uh, let's go through some information here. So our task force got created 578 days ago. That was the day when the uh, update came out. So as you guys can see, we really struggled uh, at first. Choke point, we couldn't do choke point consistently. Even here, uh, this one was pretty sad. Uh, 18 days ago, only got I think four of the uh, or three of the of the all bases. And now we're doing Operation Curtain Call on that end on a consistent basis. I think it's awesome. Uh, if you guys want to be joining in, you guys are more than welcome. We're, doing, we're holding Intel Contests. We have a really great group of friends. Everybody who joined in uh, as of lately uh, is just really positive about the task force. Even though they have to go back to their own task force. Some people even join in back again. Uh, and in other words, just a really great vibe. So if you guys want to be joining in, once again, I just keep on saying it until we're filled up. Join in. That's going to be doing it for this episode. Hope that you guys enjoyed this 20 attack takedown operation. Dead end. Um, hopefully I can show you guys some cool more attacks. If I, show, if I find any cool solo takedowns, then I will for sure show it off to you guys. Because task force operations are really fun to do. So yeah, on that note, we're just going to be wrapping this video off here. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure if you guys like this video too, boom, give it a thumbs up. And that being said, massive shout out to my task force. This has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys in the next one.